everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 14th, 2022. So we're going to dive in here, but as always, and it, as is the work that I do here, it's all about keeping our frequency cleansed, right? So that doesn't mean just, uh, you know, fake positivity or toxic positivity or pretending like things aren't happening, but realizing it, being authentic, working through it and keeping our frequency high. Okay. So it's all about spiritual growth and, and spiritual wellness here. All right. So as we get into this, obviously things are going on in the world, more imperative than ever that we are taking care of ourselves and taking care of one another. And as I was getting ready to sit down and do this filming, uh, there is a huge message here to watch Again, we have, we've traded one kind of societal conditioning for another, where there are whole cultures about diminishing someone, right? Uh, and ganging up on someone or ganging one group of people, ganging up on another group of people. And I'm talking about, you know, just in day-to-day -day life. That's what I'm talking about. And we're being warned to, I, I, that's me as a human putting it that way, but we're being uh, given the heads up, let's say, to make sure we're not doing that because we are just pushing each other away. We need to come more into this frequency of understanding each other. I'm not saying that we have to understand evil or anything like that, but you know, the way we're approaching our cures, our, our cures, it's not working. Okay. It's not working and it's actually working against us. So that is a big message putting it out there. So if we, we are very much in a time where we judge other people for how they see things or, you know, what upsets them, what have you, and then we want to come at them and we see that in our media as well, where everybody's just always fighting back and forth. Now, again, that doesn't mean that you have to just kind of go along with whatever somebody says, but there's that deeper frequency there of, you know, we're, we're being made enemies one more, nothing of the sort, right? That's going to become more and more imperative in understanding that as time goes on. Now, forgive me, I didn't move my table around. I just kind of felt cozy here. So <laughs> I do have, <laughs> this is what happens though when I don't move my table, I have to reach back for my cards. And I brought a few different decks over. Oops. Okay, this is problematic when I don't move my table, I guess, because I'm hitting my microphone and everything. All right. <laughs> so I did bring over a few decks for us to use. So we're going to get lots of guidance today but let's all just tune in here tune into your heart space okay there's a card that fell down let me get that for us yeah the lovers now you can take this quite literally if you want it's archangel Raphael. is all about the heart space and healing make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love that is what they're talking about here now again you could take this as like you know a romantic signal for you if that's you know, what you're working towards or what have you, but this is about cooperation. This is about us loving each other and not treating each other as an enemy. Okay. What does this say? The power of love. Yeah. <laughs> That's the takeaway of this card. The power of love it is a little messy. I'm <laughs> I just hit my ring on my candle. It's a whole thing. We're fine. We're all friends here, right? <laughs> you know how I operate. All right. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you haven't gone over uh, to check out my website, I had, uh, I, I got to work with a really beautiful designer who made everything really nice and smooth. And of course, if you would like a personal reading, head over to angelsouls444.com. I have simplified the process. Just get on over there and check out. And of course, we still have the courses over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Okay. I'm telling you guys, it's more cooperation. See, our egos are still at play here in a big way. No matter how much spiritual growth you think you've done, we all have our stuff, right? Yeah, three of Michael. It's release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Now, again, this is asking us to heal our pain because a lot of us do get defensive with one another or we want to judge somebody else or throw our projection out there, what have you, because we are hurting, because we have not dealt with some past heartbreak, all right? Now, again, we do have the lovers, and then we have this uh, three of Michael, so it could be that some of you are healing your heart so that you can move on in love. But on a worldwide stage, 
This is exactly where we're coming from. All of us, many of us are heartbroken right now. We've experienced heartbreak in the past and we have been trained to think that, you know, that there's some sort of, uh, again, the cure is to go after the offending party or go after the offending group of people, whatever. Okay. And we're definitely being told here that that's not the way. Stop believing that we are all enemies. We're nothing of the sort, nothing of the sort. The emperor, Archangel Uriel. So this is all about strength, um, but this could be a very imposing figure. Okay. It says stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. Here's the deal. Um, we have layers of emperors going on here. So we have this control structure that we have all listened to, and maybe we've given our power away. But this is more about, again, a belief system. What do we take in? What do we take as a truth? Who are we listening to? Now, we all have this third dimensional ego consciousness. And when we start talking about stuff like this, people are like, that's right, I'm the, th the authority of me. Well, yeah, but how, what are you gonna do with that, <laughs> right? Now are you gonna turn around and try to be the authority of other people or are you gonna, see what I'm saying? Like we need to get control of ourselves and that includes healing. It includes um, not just sitting back and saying, oh, we're powerless, we can't do anything. You always have the power to change your frequency, to make choices for your life that will improve your life, all right, without trampling on someone else or trampling on someone else's rights. We are in such a world where everybody's pushing everybody else around. We see social media posts. Uh, this is a perfect example. I use it all the time, but like driving, where people are always like, You'll drive the way I say you're going to drive. And if you don't, then here's this really offensive thing I'm going to say about you. And PS, personality disorders, they're discovering are highly connected to how people drive. Makes sense. If someone's a narcissist or a sociopath and they don't care even about themselves, they're certainly not going to care about other people and they think everybody else is beneath them or whatever, however that works. Makes sense. They're just gonna use that as another platform to bully other people, right? So that's just one example. But people even carry that into, if you don't think like me, then you are wrong. So this is where people are just using others as a punching bag for their frustrations. Here's where we're headed. And this is where we, in our spiritual wellness, we need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. We need to get out of that mindset because we're, you know, we know we are being turned against one another. And when we see people acting out like that and we don't even know where that's coming from, gotta stop and ask, okay? Now I'm not encouraging conspiracy theories, I'm not. There might be some truth to some things going on out there, but again, that even that sort of culture is used to control other people, you know, and to tell people, oh, here we go. And this is, people are gonna get all wound up about that now. But what I'm getting at here is just whatever your thing is, whatever, you know, soul's path you're on, look at where you are not very kind to others. Look at where you project onto others. Look at where you're trying to control. Just take a look at it. It's, it's mind boggling <laughs> and it will reflect back to us what we need to heal. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying this correctly. So then we have King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Hello, that's the takeaway. We need to open our hearts and we need to be more proactive in creating a more harmonious society. And that doesn't mean that everybody thinks the same. Doesn't mean that everybody, you know, has to follow the same path, obviously. But this is say we have a little more compassion for everybody and their perspective. You know, we all have different perspectives and that leads us to an opportunity to expand our understanding, okay? So don't just shut somebody down because they're not of your political party or they don't have the exact same opinions you do. Maybe take a moment to see where other people are coming from without judgment, okay? All right, let's get, 
some of these cards. All right, so we have new moon in Aquarius open up to change. We need to change how we treat one another. We need to change. It's not even how we outwardly treat. It's what's going on in your brain. We're all incredibly judgmental. We are. <laughs> and even people who are trying to fight against being perceived in a certain way, they're doing it by being nasty. Some people, not everybody, but some people are just being straight up nasty and disrespectful to others because they think that, well, you deserve it. You have it coming. Says who? You? May I see your credentials? Who are you? Now, in extreme cases, that's going to be different, obviously, but listen, <laughs> it's more about your day to day. Okay. We have more friends out there than enemies. Full moon in Libra, find a balance. Yeah, see, so it's not about overcorrecting. I think that's what they're getting at here. Can you hear the wind? I don't know if that's going to pick up, but. Ooh, yikes. Okay, anyway, <laughs> full moon in Libra, find a balance. So it is about looking where, looking at where we have overcorrected. Where have we gone too far in trying to make something right? So finding that harmony, finding that balance, and really improving our intuition. You know, our intuition, if we strengthen that and we have spiritual wellness, you'll know what to do in every situation. New moon in Scorpio, there's transformation. Go deeper. We can't just point at other people and say, you're the reason why X, Y, and Z is happening. It's all your fault. Or because, you know, <laughs> we judge people so much on how they look and we don't even really give them a chance to behave in a certain manner before we have some sort of judgment about that. And again, social media has really been, you know, a big part of, you know, positive change and getting us to realize things that need to be corrected or what have you. But it's also been a platform, many have been platforms for hate and to, uh, again, condition people to judge and to jump to conclusions about people and to be in an angry space or to be in a fearful space or what have you. And this says, go deeper. It's not always what we think, okay? Again, pardon the, <laughs> the awkwardness. It's all good. All right, let's get a color card here. Why do I keep dropping cards? I dropped them again, hold on. All right. There are going to be very surprising outcomes. And it, it, I think it's gonna be one of those things that we have all this deep transformation that we didn't really understand until we come out the other side and we look back and we realize, oh, that's what that was all leading to. Or, yeah, that was terrible, but, you know, this made us come together. It made us understand. It made us see more. It's, ugh, I'm telling you guys, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper into what we see out there. And I don't mean go deeper and try to come up with these stories about what's going on behind the scenes. If you have full blown proof, that's one thing. But just speculating and doing all that, no, stop it. Or messing with the energies, don't do it. Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. So again, this is using this creative life force in a more positive way. This goes with that King of Gabriel card where it is about tapping into what is our emotional state? Is that where we're functioning from? Because just go out or just go onto social media. Hold on, let me. I have an example. I was on, I'm, I'm not gonna say the platform, but I was on a social media platform and there was this woman who was dropping the F-bomb and she was just going off because someone said that this food that was of a certain uh, culture, right? That she thought it didn't look very appetizing. Now this person who was from that culture went off, went off about this woman not liking her culture's food. I mean, I can't relate. You, I don't care where you are in the world. You feed me. I'm like a stray dog. I don't go nowhere. Okay. But <laughs> this woman just had an opinion about not eating that type of that, that particular dish. It wasn't even the whole like culture's food. It was just that one dish that she didn't think that she would like very much. And someone took that so personally that they start getting like verbally abusive towards this person. That is the very kind, that's like throwing the bad fire in. And I know a lot of people are not going to get that. And a lot of people, you've been trained to get triggered. You may not even listen to what I just said. You may just jump right in and start going 
on the offensive. That's a problem. And we're never gonna get better if we're coming from that space. We need to be more balanced, more harmonized, right? And that's gonna be tough. And I think that's why this is coming up as a message is like, be ready for this. This is going to be something where maybe we do need to check ourselves here and there and go, okay, well, why am I feeling this way? Let me, let me tune in with me. You know, give yourself that chance because we might be missing out on some really beautiful connections with our fellow human beings because we want to, um, you know, go with whatever's popular and then try to look like we're some sort of societal warrior when really we're causing more problems and we're causing more separation, all right? So this is saying create a whole other, you know, <laughs> existence here. Take that creative life force and instead of funneling it into anger and, and coming out and being offensive or taking offense to every little thing, maybe channel that into something more productive. Remember, the lover's card there. Let's try to take a more loving approach to things. And if somebody doesn't like <laughs> something you cooked, for example, it doesn't have to mean that they hate a whole culture just because they were like, oh, I don't know about that dish right there. I don't, I don't know if that's for me, right? So that's just an example. Let's all do our work here and see where we can catch ourselves uh, allowing ourselves to fly off the handle when it's not necessary. Or is this really something we need to have our antenna up about? Or, okay, it, it's going to be situational. <laughs> like there are some people, there are jerks out there. Okay, hateful jerks, sure. Um, I'm not saying that we have to like go along with whatever they say, but make sure we're not taking every person who we look at and just assume they're going to be just like the people we've known in the past and throw that experience on them, all right? It's imperative that we start breaking out of that pattern. So, gosh, I hope that made sense. I hope, <laughs> I hope I put that in an okay way. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Thank you.